For the last 25 years, the internet has been the wild west. But between public opinion and government regulation, when GDPR came into effect last year, that era ended forever. The average company thinks they share data with about 40 different companies, but in fact, they share with an astounding 750. And while it's amazing what we can do with modern technology. There is no easy way to track what's happening with all of that data, and there's no easy way for companies to comply with their privacy obligations. Until now, Osano's data privacy platform makes it easy for companies to identify which vendors are best to work with, to comply with laws like GDPR, California's privacy law, and other upcoming regulations. Osano customers can browse lawsuits. And they can look at the policies for companies they're doing business with, utilizing our proprietary data set of 7,000 different vendors. Osano provides a 360-degree view of each vendor's privacy practices. Osano assigns an objective score to each vendor, making it easy for companies to identify where they have risk. Osano customers can browse lawsuits against vendors. They can track legislation, and we can track thousands of convoluted privacy policies on their behalf. Osano includes a fully managed cookie consent solution, so that with one line of code, websites can immediately become compliant with the laws of 40 different countries, and those dialogues appear in their native language. As well, Osano offers a developer API, so that developers can quickly build data privacy into their applications and their workflows. Let's move over to the demo. On the screen, you can see a website that is not complying with the law. When we load this website up, we see 80 different cookies in the forms of beacons, ad networks, and social shares. And while it's great for marketing to be able to drive traffic, retarget, and analyze visitor behavior, there is no easy way for them to comply with the law. Osano customers, with just a couple of clicks, can copy and paste some code to their website. And with that one line of code, their website automatically becomes compliant, and Osano enforces best practices. Let's take a look at that same website as it looks with Osano. When the page is loaded, you can see there are only three essential cookies, and no third-party scripts have loaded. Scott, go ahead and consent. Now Scott's consented, and Osano's let those third-party scripts load, and our browser is full of cookies again. But what's different is that this website is complying with the law. Complying with the law by collecting consent is an obligation, and failing to do that results in severe penalties and fines. Osano customers, well, Osano also captures a list of all of the data, all of the vendors that are in your website, and sends that back to our servers. Osano customers can automatically log in and view all of the vendors they're sharing data with, look at their privacy practices, and see how they rank, and make compliance decisions based upon that data. Osano visitors can also browse lawsuits against their vendors, and they can browse historical and current practice, practice policies and compliance documents. Let's switch back to the presentation. Data privacy and compliance used to be a complicated manual process. Osano makes it easy: one place to see your SaaS vendors, their privacy risks, and their ratings, and all of the data transfers that are happening. By 2023, companies will be spending more than 3.3 billion dollars per year on data privacy software. That's up from 500 million last year. Osano is targeting the 90% of companies who are not served by the expensive point solutions, such as the 800-pound gorilla OneTrust. OneTrust has is expensive and it's hard to use, and they have 14,000 users of their free product. By contrast. Osano has 750,000 users of our free compliance product, including those companies you see on this screen. Those companies serve more than two billion consent dialogues per month using our software, and this is a target-rich environment for us because we are already their compliance vendor of record, and we are the best team to tackle this problem. I bootstrapped my first company into a $50 million ARR category leader. 
Scott and I are coming off of a successful venture-backed exit in the B2B SaaS space, and Scott is a brilliant engineer, having risen the ranks through Accenture, Microsoft, and Dell, until he thankfully got the startup bug. And the dozens of attorneys who work with us have deep data privacy expertise. Their work is training our machine learning model, so that in the future we can automate much of this policy review process. Don't let your vendors put you at risk. Be proactive about data privacy. Get ahead of the law. Go to Osano.com today and sign up for a free trial. The first 50 companies using code Battlefield will get 50% off for a full year. Thank you. Judges, anyone want to start? <clears throat> So I have a question. How much? How much does it cost? Is it annual, monthly? Sure. Osano is intended to be a self-service product. We have enterprise offerings, but we're focused on that small and mid-market. So we have a free tier that's appropriate for solopreneurs. We have a mid-tier that's a hundred dollars a month, and then we have a top tier that's two hundred dollars a month. And if they use this, is this going to cover all their needs, or do they also have to think about a one trust or some other service? Yes. So no. If they use Osano, a great question. If they use Osano, they don't need to use a One Trust. One Trust is a great company, but they're they're really focused on the big enterprise, complicated workflows. You need teams of people and weeks of training. Great company. I respect them.、Um, but if you use Osano, you do not need One Trust. You clearly have a really strong why now to this business,、um, but like so many other companies that have that,、um, many other companies come into the space. So you, can you tell us a little bit about how you view the barriers to entry here? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we have some proprietary data. So we have our data set of 7,000 vendors, where we've ranked them on an ontology of 163 questions. So we have something unique that nobody else has.、Um, we also have a, a, a competitive advantage in the fact that we have a million visitors a month to our website looking for compliance solutions already because of our open source and our open core.、Um, so. You know, really, what's going to set us apart is is those two items, plus the fact that we're focused on small and medium enterprise right now, whereas the vast majority of competitors in this space have really focused on big enterprises. Reason being, they were focusing on GDPR exclusively, whereas we're focusing more more broadly, and we can help companies with California, Brazil, you kind of name it, the privacy laws around the world. You said you had 750,000. Customers, web pages, websites. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell us how you got those customers? Sure. So we own and operate the most popular open source cookie consent solution in the world. It's called Cookie Consent. You can search for it on Google. We're the top ten results.、Um, and this product was built back in 2015 by another company.、Uh, we acquired it as soon as we formed this company,、uh, rebranded it, and took ownership of it, and continue to maintain it and improve the community around it. There are 1,700 forks of the product. There are many active developers,、um, and if you've ever seen a cookie consent, my apologies,、um, it's probably ours. You、uh, mentioned that the spend on compliance software has gone from 500 million to 3.3 billion,、um, and I assume that's because the world is changing really rapidly. If if the whole Western world or the whole world adopts some version of GDPR, what does that number go up to?、Mm. Well, I didn't hear the last part. Of Ultimately, what, what, what would the spend be if kind of the GDPR standard became the global standard? Yeah. So what we're seeing really is that that GDPR standard is kind of becoming the global standard.、Yeah. So California's privacy law goes into effect on January 1st, which is effectively a national law. So we now have all of Western Europe, all of the United States. Anybody who does business in Western Europe, anybody who does business in the United States. So we really do have global laws.、Uh, they're being flaunted by people in smaller countries who don't have much accountability. Um, but the 3.3 billion, I believe, accounts for that. That came from a third-party study. So we're looking at 33% compounded annual growth over the next four years. Can you talk a little bit about your ranking system,、um, and will you work with vendors to change their ranking?、Uh, and then, if a, like, you know, because you're self-service, you can't really afford to do a lot of account management. If a website is using a lower-ranked vendor and they wind up getting hacked or they wind up having problems, like, what's our liability? And How do you work with them to actually make sure they're complying with, complying with our recommendations? Great questions.、Um, I'll start in I'll start in the reverse. So we we like most companies carry an insurance policy, including professional errors and omissions and cyber liability. So that's really our first line of defense if we make a mistake, because it would certainly not be an intentional mistake.、Um, 
Now, as far as ranking vendors,、uh, we have a proprietary 163-question ontology. So, two dozen attorneys work for us under an Uber model.、Um, they review all the complicated compliance documents the companies publish, and then they answer those questions. Those questions map closely to NIST and ISO standards. So, if a company does well on our on our ranking, they'll probably do well in both of those areas. Um, it's proprietary, so we're certainly not going to share our secret sauce. But it's it's very comprehensive, and it looks across the spectrum at GDPR, data security, many different factors. How do you stay up to date with changing regulation? Good question.、Um, well, you know, we have lots of attorneys who work for us,、uh, so that's helpful.、Um, we are, in fact, one of the features of our product is that we advise customers about new regulations.、Uh, we're seeing more than one new regulation being proposed every single week. So it's, I mean, it's a flurry of, of activity.、Um, so you know, we look, we watch, we monitor, we we advise our customers, and then as laws change, you know, we're a startup, we're nimble, we'll we'll adjust our product accordingly. Final question. Could, could you guys get to a point where, so right now you provide ratings on vendors, litigation information, lots of data points that then people can use to make decisions. Is there a way to eventually get to a yes or no and say, based on all of this? This vendor is in compliance or not in compliance? Yeah, so we do have product roadmap items for customers to be able to set their own thresholds, so that their internal compliance teams can quickly get a red, you know, red no or a green yes when they're in the procurement cycle,、uh, or if they're looking backwards at customers who they are vendors who they already have in their in their in their walls,、um, they can quickly identify those that they have to go and remediate.、Okay. All right, give it up for Osano. Good job.